guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 7 of Toilet Bound Hanukkah Queens. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You even scared me, too. I mean, Jesus. Jesus. She's just making it more awkward with herself between the fact that she knows certain things. And it's, like, it, it's it's good, but then at the same time, it's bad because I'm like, I want her to tell him everything that she already knows about him, but I don't think she wants to know how you know he'll take it. Also, can we talk about the fact that this was once again delayed? I mean, I think this is now officially for me. It's the second time in the world, but like people said. There were problems with Funimation and stuff, and that this is their third time. I was, I woke up, I was all ready to watch this episode, and I go on to the site that I normally download it from, and I'm like, where the hell is the episode? And I'm just sitting here, I'm like, please, I swear to God, don't let it be delayed. And then I, I just, I had like that weird hit in my stomach that it was delayed. I checked at like eight o'clock at night. And it was up. And I was like, well, what the fuck? I was like, it's too late at night for me to watch this. I was like, I'm tired. So I was like, fuck it, I'll watch it tomorrow. But it's just so weird because you know how when you, when I first wake up, whether it's like between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock or even 12, I usually expect it to be out. And then it's not out. And then you're thinking like, oh my God, like, it, is it delayed in Japan? And then you find out it's not. And then you're like, well, what's the problem? I mean, it's not a complaining thing because I ain't that pissed, but there were people who were hella more pissed than me. I was just like, you donuts. <laughs> I was like 5% pissed, but some people were like, woo. I got that. <laughs> Who do you want to make donuts for? <laughs> Are you also trying to make donuts for Hanukkah? <laughs> I 
You sure this little sister isn't just one of them? I mean, because, yeah, we all know Yugi likes donuts. Well, yes, that's the obvious thing. We all know he's dead. But still, you like being around him, don't you? You just treat him like you've always treated him. Just don't make it so awkward. Even though, in a way, you kind of already made it awkward with Doc. Because you care about him, so. Mm hmm Because you become friends with them. And you care about them like if he was still alive. You know?
do do that? Put some damn donuts in you. Come here, Cody. Come here, Cody. Come here, Cody. Come here. Fucking told you. Oh, what they are mean I mean.
Come here. What you hop down for? Hasn't appeared, huh? Of course, because they don't want to talk about it. Of course. <clears throat> oh, no, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> 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 there had to be some misunderstanding. Oh my god. I I don't know what to say about this episode. This was, it was a really good episode, but oh my god. Was I expecting his brother to come in this episode and officially like, see him again after a while? No, but like I, I don't we were feeling it was gonna happen, but uh He felt so like after he left Hunterful, my Yugi, my baby, precious baby was crying. You could see it in his eyes, even though he was darkened. Oh my god. I, I don't know. I'm scared now. I mean, they're, they're twins. You can see it, obviously. I mean, the hair, everything. Like, not no fraternal twins looking like some damn one look like this, one like this. Like, some twin twins that can come twins. <laughs> 
<laughs> the gold throughout it. But why? Why would you kill your brother out of all the things? See, I, I, I got some questions about that. Out of all the people, why your brother? What did your brother do that made you kill your brother? Uh, kill him. But seriously, yeah, out of all the people, why would you kill your brother? I mean, because see, now it makes me think, going back to the opening again and seeing him, it seems like his brother, who showed up officially in this episode, he just, his other twin, he killed Hanako, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I got no freaking clue. It's either Hanako-kun killed his brother or his brother killed Hanako Kun. And it's something because they're both aberrations and they're both spirits instead of the school. So it's either one way or the other. But something led to the point where either, like I said, Hanako killed his brother or his brother killed it. Maybe one of them was secretly jealous of the other. I mean, we've seen that um, Hanako Kun, Yugi, was, you know, beaten up. He had bruises all over his face and arm last week. So it seems like Yugi was possibly the troubled teen and his brother was possibly maybe the smart kid, the nice guy, the one who has good grades and while Yugi had to be, you know, the one who didn't get the best grades. Who knows? I mean, the people who read the manga, of course, y'all know. I, I mean, I think probably with this show what I'm going to do is I do want to read the manga because I have so many questions on this show, but I think I'm going to wait until the show is 100% done. I mean... Because I don't want to go ahead and say, oh yeah, what chapter should I read on now? We're on episode 7, going on episode 8. I don't want to know certain things, but who knows? I mean, if like let's say at the end of this show, we get a confirmation for season 2. Then I won't really read the manga. But sometimes it's a little hit and a miss. But if we, if we don't get anything, I'll probably go ahead and read it. But if we do, I'll probably won't read it. No, myself. I don't think I even have the time to even add, like, one more manga into my life to read and stuff because I am so busy and stuff with other things. But yeah, I mean, it would have been a really cute moment for Hanako Kun and Nene, like, with the donuts and everything, if his brother didn't come up and fuck up everything. I get that. Because they were, she was going to, like, deadass ask him about everything and I was like oh my god like we're going he's going to sit there he maybe is going to be a little bit pissed off at her maybe not want to answer the questions right then and there but maybe give him a couple minutes and he would have and I would have been so happy because then he would have been able to we would have been able to see his side of the story and how he felt about everything but no his brother had to come in and just you may he was just when he saw his brother he was just pale like oh my god you just want to hold him and just tell him it's gonna be okay but I, at the same time I feel like it's not gonna be okay and the fact is that his brother is now into um working with both Sakura and what's his face with the rumors and everything who knows what the fuck could happen next but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of Tale of the Found Hanako Kun if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the magic squad and of course I will see you guys officially next Thursday, hopefully, if, you know, Funimation does fuck up again for episode 8. Bye, guys!